It was an anniversary of the extra class. In the summer of 2024, the Chandra X-ray Telescope celebrated its 25th birthday, and NASA released 25 of the most breathtaking images ever taken by this telescope. Chandra is definitely one of the most powerful telescopes we humans have. Placed directly in space, the X-ray telescope captures distant galaxies, cosmic nebulae, and the remains of massive supernova explosions. Let us journey together through the fascinating rush of this world of images. What Chandra has given us in 25 years of work is truly incredible. All the images show us the richness of the universe in splendor never seen before. ARP 220 We begin this colorful journey through the universe with one of the brightest galaxies we know. ARP 220 is an ultra-luminous infrared galaxy and was formed by the collision of two galaxies. The crash triggered intense star formation. Both galaxies continued to expand during their cosmic marriage. This collision also released an enormous amount of gas and dust that block the galaxy's light. Despite the obstructed view, researchers were able to locate over 200 giant star clusters in the galaxy ARP 220 whose environment is characterized by extreme conditions. This galaxy is also one of the most powerful radio sources in the sky and provides astronomers with insights into the development and behavior of galaxy cores during collisions. Pillars of Creation The Chandra X-ray Observatory's mission began in 1999, and the Pillars of Creation were among the first images. This iconic structure in the Eagle Nebula was first seen by the Hubble Space Telescope. The column-shaped structures consist of dense, cold clouds of dust and gas, in which an incredible number of new stars are formed. The pillars owe their shape to the UV light of the young, hot stars. It's evaporated by the surrounding gas, and so the light emissions impressively show the dynamic processes of star formation. NGC 3532 The open star cluster NGC 3532 is also called the Wishbone Cluster, or Football Cluster by researchers. It's located about 1,300 light-years away in the constellation Carina. It's a young star cluster, about 300 million years old, containing hundreds of bright blue and yellow stars. This cluster is particularly popular with amateur astronomers because it's visible to the naked eye with relatively simple telescopes and in an unobstructed view. NGC 3532 was also the first object photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope after its launch in 1990. NGC 6872 Let's travel further to the constellation of the Peacock. There we find one of the largest known galaxies. With a diameter of over 500,000 light-years, NGC 6872 is not only impressively large, but also unusually shaped. It is impressively curved, and this shape is most likely caused by interactions with the nearby companion galaxy IC4970. The gravitational forces acting on the approach of the two galaxies have lengthened and distorted the spiral arms of NGC 6872. In view of these colorful images, the question arises again and again as to whether the universe is really so colorful. Officially, the colors are created by the use of filters. But color also occurs naturally. Often, it's gases that form the colors green, red, yellow, or in this case, a bright pink and magenta under certain filters. NGC 1850 NGC 1850 is a remarkable globular cluster in the large Magellanic Cloud, which forms our Milky Way as a satellite galaxy. The cluster is only about 160,000 light-years from the outer regions of the Milky Way. What is unusual about this formation is that it contains young stars, which is rare for globular clusters. Astronomers suspect that the cluster was formed by an enormous burst of star formation. 6. Crab Nebula the Crab Nebula is the remnant of a supernova explosion observed by Chinese astronomers in 1050. Located in the constellation Taurus, the nebula consists of a complex structure of gas and dust, and the nebula is still expanding at about 1,500 kilometers per second. At the center of the nebula is the Crab Pulsar, 
a neutron star that rotates extremely fast and emits high-energy radiation in the process. The Crab Nebula is an important source for research on pulsars and the physics of supernova remnants. MSH 15-52 MSH 15-52 is also a supernova remnant, but this time we are in the constellation Norma, and at the center of the nebula is a high-energy pulsar called PSR B1509-58. This object is known to be one of the most powerful X-ray sources in the sky and is often studied by NASA satellites. Supernova remnants and pulsars are real treats for scientists. Able 2125 Let's continue our fantastic journey through our universe and head to the constellation Ursa Major. Able 2125 is a gigantic galaxy cluster about 3 billion light years away. It contains hundreds of galaxies in a particularly dense intergalactic environment. Only Chandra, with its unique X-ray technology, can shine through this dense environment to show us the galaxy cluster in all its glory. The cluster is an important observation site for astrophysicists because numerous galaxy collisions take place here, constantly changing the structure of the galaxy. Virgo Cluster Galaxy clusters are among the most impressive structures in the universe. They bring together hundreds to thousands of galaxies in a cosmic dance. The Virgo Cluster is the closest large galaxy cluster to the Milky Way and is located in the constellation Virgo. It contains about 1,300 to 2,000 galaxies and a particularly large number of bright elliptical and spiral galaxies. The Virgo Cluster also influences the movement of galaxies in our neighborhood through its gravitational force and plays an important role in research into the mass distribution in the entire known universe. NGC 3324 NGC 3324, also known as the Gabriella Mistral Nebula, is an emission nebula in the constellation Carina. The nebula is formed by strong UV radiation from hot, young stars and is illuminated in a fascinating way. This place of intense star formation shows an almost human and feminine profile, which gave it its name. NGC 3324 is of particular interest to astronomers because it shows stars at different stages of development. Serpent Cloud The Serpent Cloud, or Snake Nebula, lies in the constellation Ophiuchus and is a dark cloud of dense dust and gas. It blocks the light of the stars behind it and has a striking shape reminiscent of a snake. It contains numerous young protostars that are still at the very beginning of their development. This dark cloud is a perfect example of how gravity and gas density interact to initiate star formation processes. SN 1987A The supernova SN 1987A is the closest and brightest supernova explosion of modern times and was discovered in the Large Magellanic Cloud in 1987. This event marked the first time that scientists had observed a supernova in detail at all stages, and the development will continue for thousands of years. SN 1987A also led to the discovery of neutrinos being released during a supernova. These ghost particles are found almost everywhere in the universe and are considered to be something like cosmic messengers. Neutrinos easily pass through thin forms of matter and were also used, for example, to examine the pyramids of Giza in a completely new way. WR-124 WR-124 is a Wolf-Riot star in the constellation Sagitta and about 15,000 light-years away from us. These stars are among the rarest and hottest stars in the universe and lose mass quickly due to strong stellar winds. The star is surrounded by a gas cloud called M1-67, which was formed by extreme stellar winds. WR-124 is particularly fascinating because it will most likely explode as a supernova at a later stage. G21.5-0.9 G21.5-0.9 is a supernova remnant located in the constellation Scorpius and is particularly bright in the X-ray spectrum. So, for Chandra, this object was a special treat and we are excited to get details from yet another supernova. At the center of this remnant 
researchers found a neutron star emitting high-energy particles and surrounding a shell of charged gas. Galactic Center of the Milky Way The center of the Milky Way is about 26,000 light-years from Earth, and it's a highly active area. The actual center is a supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A star. Compared to other galactic centers, the black hole at our center is still calm and contemplative. Sagittarius A star barely consumes matter and gives our home galaxy a pleasant calm and stable shape. Studying this center helps astronomers understand how black holes and galactic cores function and interact with each other. HB5 With HB5, we have another colorful nebula in the constellation Aquila. The nebula is known for its complex structure and bright blue and green colors. In this case, the colors are formed by ionized oxygen and nitrogen gas. At the center of the nebula is a dying star that is in the process of ejecting its outer layers. Thanks to images of HB5, we have valuable information about the last stages of development of sun-like stars. NGC 7469 The spiral shape is by far the most common shape for galaxies in the universe. NGC 7469 is a particularly active spiral galaxy about 200 million light-years away in the constellation Pegasus. It's famous for its bright center, which appears pink in Chandra's images with a yellowish core. At the center of NGC 7469 is a particularly bright quasar. These supermassive black holes are surrounded by lots of hot gas which glows brightly in images. NGC 1365 NGC 1365 is an impressive barred spiral galaxy in the constellation Fornax. About 56 million light-years away, this galaxy is famous for its prominent bar that extends across the center. Thanks to images from Chandra, researchers have been able to locate numerous sites of intense star formation in NGC 1365, and this galaxy also contains a supermassive black hole at its center. Orion Nebula Anyone who loves astronomy is sure to be familiar with the Orion Nebula, also known as M42. Seen from our point of view, this is the brightest and most well-known emission nebula and is located about 1,344 light-years away in the Orion constellation. The nebula is a huge star formation region containing numerous young stars, protostars, and gas clouds. For scientists, this gigantic stellar nursery is an ideal laboratory for studying the processes that lead to the formation of new stars and planetary systems. The Eye Galaxies The galaxies NGC 4435 and NGC 4438 are called eyes because they appear to be a pair of eyes when observed through a telescope. The pair is located in the Virgo Galaxy Cluster, and these galaxies show impressive interactions that distort gas and dust structures in a unique way, thus greatly stimulating the formation of stars. NGC 7469 This galaxy also displays a beautiful spiral shape. This particularly active galaxy, located about 200 million light-years away, shines in the constellation Pegasus. It's home to an active galactic center containing a supermassive black hole. The black hole attracts material from its surroundings, creating such strong X-ray and UV radiation that NGC 7469 is one of the brightest light sources in the night sky. Another exciting feature of this galaxy is the stellar ring around the center of it. Cassiopeia A this is another bright supernova remnant that exploded about 300 years ago in the constellation Cassiopeia. This bluish, shimmering stellar remnant is also one of the brightest radio sources in the sky. To this day, debris made of hot gas expands and contracts, making it one of the most exciting astronomical observation sites in the universe. Cat's Paw Nebula It is quite impressive how much imagination our researchers have. Again and again, they see certain similarities between cosmic phenomena and familiar shapes or personalities. In the case of this formation, one researcher spontaneously thought of a cat's soft paws. And so the emission nebula, NGC 6334, was given the name Cat's Paw Nebula.
It's one of the most active star-forming regions in our own galaxy. If you want to observe the nebula with an amateur telescope, you have to look in the direction of the constellation Scorpius. The radiation from the young stars constantly forms and changes the cloud structures, making the nebula one of the most popular research objects. Centaurus A In the charts of the most powerful radio sources in the known universe, Centaurus A would be at the top. Also known as NGC 5128, this galaxy has a striking dust disk and an active galactic nucleus that is home to a supermassive black hole. This cosmic wonder can be seen about 13 million light years away in the Centaurus constellation. Max J0035 In this image, you are looking directly at a gravitational lens. Max J0035, also known as Max J0035.4-2015, is a massive galaxy cluster that distorts the light from galaxies behind it so much that they appear magnified as if through a magnifying glass. This effect helps astronomers to study distant galaxies in the early universe, as the gravitational lensing effect greatly enhances the power of our telescopes.